Hello, welcome to FMOD in two minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today, we're talking about loops. Now, here I have a sci-fi wind ambience, which I would like to make loop seamlessly inside of FMOD. Now, there is a way to do this inside your DAW. However, today I'm gonna to show you a way to do it just from your middleware. Now, first of all, I'm gonna right click and add a new loop region. And when I play it, you'll hear that it's quite an ugly transition. Very obvious because they're not crossfading into each other. So what we're going to do is drag this blue bar back a little bit and give us some space to play with. Next, I'm gonna right click and click add transition timeline. And all of a sudden we have the space in between the end and the start of our loop, at which point I can drag the end out, drag the in back in, and FMOD automatically adds this really lovely smooth X crossfade between the two points. If I double click on the blue bar out of this screen and listen again, you'll hear the results. This is useful because maybe you want to use just a particular section of your loop, at which point you can drag the loop region to wherever you want and have the same results. This is also useful in music for adding reverb tails to the start of your loop region. Now, I'm gonna play this track and you'll hear that it's pretty good, but it could be better. So we can make this even smoother, even more realistic. So again, if I right click, add transition timeline, and this time I want to drag the end out, but the beginning I want to start at full volume. So I'm gonna drag this crossfade all the way back. And what we're left with is a lovely reverb tail of the end sitting on top of the start of the loop at full volume. Again, double click out of the screen and listen to the difference. Hopefully you'll agree that it's far more realistic and smoother. These are just a couple scenarios where this feature is useful and hopefully will give you an idea of how to use it in many other instances. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, don't forget to subscribe for more quick beginner tips in FMOD.